the 30. Well, it certainly doesn't matter if it's been through the air like on this play or on the ground. I don't know what's going on with this defense. In a sense, they've been AWOL on this drive so far. Three plays, three first downs given up. They've got to find answers, and they've got to find them quick. No. On first down, but Completely blanketed. To be incomplete. But the passing windows are just not there. And that's just another example of how great this defense has been all game long. And that's exactly what a top 10 defense can do. They can really change the game tempo and frustrate you as you try to execute offensively. To throw again on second down. Mahomes. Oh, yeah. Third time tonight, he's that's three for Barnes. Go. 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 You can't catch him. Let's go. Three interception game for Barnes. Two touchdowns. That was just a stupid throw by, uh, by Mahomes. Look at that. Crossbody getting hit. They certainly did, and you're right. At least a 10 point swing, maybe more. They want us to go for two. Now the Rams bring the offense back out here to go for two. After the interception, here's Stafford. I'm going to run it in. And he will get into the end zone to extend the lead by two more. And there's a quick momentum swing. INT return for a pick six and then the two-point conversion good. And even if you're keeping your wits about you, you're thinking to yourself, okay, extra point block team going into the game now. All of a sudden you're hearing defense. Everyone's scrambling for their helmets and throwing down their cups of water. That's a great position for them to be in trying to score against that team. A little bit disjointed. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and Here he's dropped at the 18. Okay, they're going to be passing. The Chiefs offense and Got to play Hill coverage, play coverage. And I know that they've double teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? But it's usually not by himself, is it? Right. Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. Throwing on second and eight. Mahomes. He's going uh. to out. And the defense loses him. It's complete. And all the way in. That was on Fuller. That was on Fuller. He had that deep quarter. All right, let's run this ball. On first down, they'll start out with Akers. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. Second down, they'll go with Akers again. And he stopped immediately there. Call it no gain that time as it's going to leave him with a third and about three to go. Stafford. Woods. Complete. That's Woods. And he is going to have a Rams first down as they convert on third and three with a nice gain of seven yards. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Off the fake to Akers, here's Stafford. Over the middle, that's hauled in by Cup. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. here on a Sunday night. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. On first down, Akers. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 70 yards rushing for him now on what was his 10th carry of the ball game. I think we're seeing the effect that runs like that are starting to have on this game. 
They're a little bit slower. That front seven reacting to the football, almost like body blows in boxing. Slowing them down, and they're really starting to take over in this game. They'll run here with Akers. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. No turnovers. Can have no turnovers. Open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. I didn't like the look of that play right from the beginning. I thought he should have seen the coverage that was there. Tried to force it in. That one he's fortunate just fell incomplete. The Rams on third down. They've hit at 50%. Three and six to this point. This is third and eight. Now it's Stafford. And he's got the hook up here. It's Woods. And he's going to have a Rams first down. Oh, I can't believe he got that first. Conversion. Couldn't just sit on it here, could they? Had to throw the ball third down. Got the big completion in the pickup. Fresh set of downs now. They've got to feel great. And defensively a backbreaker. Stafford's throw here. Hauled in by Cup. And down Cup. inside the 15 he goes. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down. Stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. They'll run on first down. Akers. That is going to get it inside the 10 to the 7-yard line. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. They'll go again here with Akers. He gets him a little bit close. I think I got it. No, I guess I didn't. He's hit pay dirt a lot this year, but not that time. Yeah, I'm tracking right there with you. Okay, they're not sure actually what they're in. No way I can find any fault with the call. He may not have scored there. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Ray. Didn't matter what they were in. It's his ninth rushing touchdown of the year and 11th overall. And the Rams add on to their lead, and they are also closing in on a fifth straight victory. On third down and short, and everything well executed. He not only gets the first down, Charles, he gets the touchdown as well. And you see the defense commit to the run so often in these situations. Yeah, they were in uh, man blitz there. now on first down. That's complete into the hands of Myers. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Throwing now is Mahomes. Ah! That's caught by Myers. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Charles, this one, not over, certainly, but you set the magic number earlier in this game at 20 points, said that they would need to hold them right around that marker under it. Uh, what, what are you seeing here? Well, that mark, Tackle, that tackle, tackle. Because we said, okay, 20 or under gives them a chance to win. Right on pace for being in that range. And guess what? They got a shot. That catch good for only a couple. Throwing again on second down. Mahomes. This would oh, you lucky. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's going to be. I'm surprised he didn't hit Kelsey on the, on the uh, stick. Here's Mahomes to throw. He'll drop that off to Edwards Alaire. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22 yard line. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll make it second and a foot or so. He's having a big game through the air, and sometimes those smart decisions just dump it off. That's how you continue to have big games through the air. I agree totally. Uh, that's, that's a great analogy, great way to put it, because he doesn't get too greedy. Where everything has to be pushed downfield, trying to create big plays that aren't there. You dump it off and take that nice gain. He's showing off down two up, touchdowns. That's the kind of game he's having. So the Chiefs in possession of the ball as we welcome you back. They've got it first and goal as they look to punch in a late score. And in for the Chiefs touchdown. 
Travis Kelsey with touchdown number eight on the year. Okay, I'm pretty sure they're going to go onside. They would be stupid not to go onside. Well, they're, they're the banking on their defense. <laughs> I guess they think they're going to stop Cam Akers. And this game not quite over yet. And we'll likely see him take all three timeouts defensively, so they can't just kneel this one out. They're going to have to try to run a few plays. You're exactly right. They've got there to with that plan. <laughs> make them use up all their timeouts. Uh, they have this one in hand. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. Now a run with Akers. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Now a second timeout called for by the defense. As they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. The Chiefs quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. They'll run out of the gun with Akers. And I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Oh, he had daylight for a second. He had daylight. I guess the simple question, why not just take a knee there? I don't understand either why you would take any sort of a chance. We've seen it happen in the game of football. Doesn't matter whether you watch high school, college, or the NFL. Some people get a little greedy, try to get that extra running play in, and it can backfire on them. And he is going to have a Rams first down. I don't care. I'm going to get a little greedy. down conversion. Now a timeout yeah, just a little greedy. Offense. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. On the give, this is Akers. Flash the stick skills, but didn't get a ton from it. Stop short of the 35. Now the Rams will signal for a timeout. Their second. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Stafford going to throw it. And bringing it in right side here, Beckham. And now with six seconds remaining, they're going to burn their final timeout. That's what it's all about right there. That's what it's all about. So the LA Rams Game over. The victory here. And we talk so much about the turnover battle, determining who wins, who loses. This game, no exception. Air free football, no turnovers at all, and they win it. So this is one you don't have to No turnovers. I threw two interceptions. What you're is accurate. And you know what I'm talking about. Head coach always stands up in front of the team and says, guys, if we do this, this, and this, we'll win. And usually they say, if we win the turnover battle, we'll win. Well, here's the proof right there. Win the turnover battle. Go on to victory. Now the guys believe you move on to the next lesson where you have to convince them. This one is now planted. So for Los Angeles, the great run they've been on continues as they move to 9-1 and one now. And they'll get another road test next week as they head to Atlanta to take on the Falcons. Meanwhile, for the Chiefs, it's a loss that will drop them back to 500 through 10. All right, good win. Awesome career game by Chris Barnes, our linebacker. He had three interceptions, two for touchdowns.
I wouldn't be surprised if we get a breakout for him. No, we didn't. He probably did get a weekly uh the player of the week award. Yep, five tackles, three interceptions, two touchdowns. Can't beat that at all. Okay, we're playing the Falcons, who are two and eight. Defensively, um, probably run inside. I want to. Grady, uh, Grady Jarrett's going to be an issue, but we'll double team him. Uh, let's look at our negotiations. Wentworth, Stafford, Gaines. You can't negotiate with Beckham yet. We're going to probably sign him, but I, I don't know. He might be a little bit too expensive for his age. It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Falcons and the reigning Super Bowl champs. And it's coming up next. It's the National Football League presented by EA Sports. Today, we've got a good NFC matchup on tap between the Atlanta Falcons and the Los Angeles Rams. Along with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you look at this Rams team as they interplay. They've certainly found their groove of late, winners of five in a row. And I think the sky's the limit for this team. They're playing the best football that they've played in a long time. Meanwhile, for the visiting Falcons, their long winning streak finally came to an end last week. A disappointing game for them, but still a heck of a run. Indeed it was. What a great job by them putting together a streak. Now let's see how they rebound after a defeat. <laughs> All right, no turnovers, no turnovers. And off we go to <clears throat> SoFi Stadium. Taking it about the one. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. So out come the Rams now for their first possession. Leading the charge at quarterback, the former Georgia I don't even want to look at those interception Stafford. passing numbers. I think it's safe to say that, and I heard him say it in the post-game press conference, that was a team win last week because he didn't really play up to his normal standards, throwing two interceptions. No touchdown. Yeah, didn't offset it at all, but the team found a way to get it done. Oh. Oh, he's going to take a shot right away. Oh. That is incomplete. What? Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. After the incomplete. Can I challenge that? Sean McVay unhappy on the sidelines visibly. He's made the decision to reach for the red flag. I'm pretty sure he was in. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they he did. Inside. And I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yes, yes he did. On, yes, he did. So that a good outcome for Sean McVay as the challenge is successful. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. The numbers for him from a week ago. 22 carries, 137 yards, and a score. And when he went over 1,000 yards last week, you know what it did for their offense? It gave them a true identity because everyone's going to talk about this. The offensive line's going to take pride in it. Of course, the guy carrying the... Oh, there we go. 
First drive of the game. Atlanta's trash defense. So upset. First drive of the game. Interception. These are his numbers from last week's contest. 14 carries, 65 yards. They've lost a bunch of games in a row now. They've got to start thinking a little bit differently, maybe a little bit outside of the box. Find other ways to move the football. I don't know if you're going to do it through the air or maybe change up how you establish your run game. They had three yards on first down, just one yard there. Well, this defense for the Rams, they were terrific last week in the victory over Kansas City. And as in any game, takeaways are always a big key. They're always discussed on defense. There's an emphasis there. And they came away with three interceptions in that game. And they get him down. Damn, Kyle Pitts is an X Factor? Shit. After getting that turnover on the first drive of the game, you'd hate to just stall out the momentum, go free and out. They're able to avoid that there. And yeah, we talk about complimentary football all the time, but I think it's a little bit deeper than that. Defense went out, forced a turnover, gave the ball to the offense. It's now the offense's responsibility to pay that off for them, to show respect to them. Hey, you guys got some turnover? We appreciate it. They want to continue their drive. Second down, here's Mostert again. And no room to but over there. Give him a yard up to the 47. Watching that play unfold and watching him complete it. Going back memories of doing all those pursuit drills to make sure you don't over pursue and let a guy get a cutback lane on you. He did that very well. You praised him on tape yesterday for the angles that he takes to the ball. We took a great this. angle right there. And they'll use him out of the backfield and sometimes quite a bit. They're just trying to get him touches any way they can. Four catches a week ago. There's another one right there. On first and ten, it's Mostert. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. I'm still really pissed that I threw an interception. I barely got to possess the ball. This one fly toward the back of the end zone. And that will be incomplete. Trying to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. And now hold everything here as the change flag is out. And we're going to get a review of that last play. They're taking a peek at one. Those feet were and his house. foot hit the pylon. Isn't that two? Here in the end zone. And not just the feet. If his foot hits the pylon. No. They didn't want to give it to him. No. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. Now they were intercepted the first time they had the football, but now they get it back and it's still 0 0. And because of that, you know, the I'm going to run a hurry up on that. Interception. What interception? It didn't really happen because they gave up no points. So go back on the attack. Go back and run the offense you believe will be successful. Find your playmakers and give them the football. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. So a decent game. Not cool, Whitworth. Not cool. They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating, the guys who just gave up that play. They're backed up here with a first and 20 now after the holding penalty. Throwing is Stafford. It's caught. Back up. Call it a gain of six on the play, and that's going to make it second and 14. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helps have 
a guy who can turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. Now it's Stafford off the bootleg. He'll buy some time right. Well, the pressure just couldn't get to him that time. They forced him out to his right, but he held his poise, surveyed the field, didn't find anything he liked, and then mm. took off and picked up a nice gain. Let's go, let's go. Here's Stafford. Throw right side, going to be caught by Higby. Two yards is all they'll get on the completion. It's fourth down. Pardon, I, think that completion I don't like kicking here, but I have to. It does, and the defense was right. They're kind of played into their hands. Gay's kick is good. And the Rams have the first points here. It's 3-0. So he splits the uprights, and has to be a nice feeling. Right when I left his foot, knew it was good. Yeah, just like a good three-point shooter in basketball, right? Release the ball, fall back on defense without even looking. You know it's going in the hoop. This taken in at the goal line. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. So for the second time in this one, we get set to see the Falcons offense. And they had compiled a pretty long drive last time. Unfortunately, though, it ended with no points after the missed field goal. And that can hurt the psyche of a team because as they drove downfield, you know you're never supposed to count points in your mind until they go up on the board. But let's face it, we've been there, we've seen teams before. They were counting on those points. They didn't get them. Can they come back now? Start okay, over I again. pray that they run the ball Call it a gain of five there to try to get this. Oh! Malik Hooker. That was the perfect defense to run against quick, quick slants. It drops both safeties down into that hole. Love it. I'll take that 10 nothing lead. Not sure how the momentum swang back to Atlanta, <laughs> but whatever. Probably has some kind of a glitch to do with that quick sim. They'll start on the ground with Moster. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to step go. behind the line. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. Ten-nothing to score after one on EA Sports. Second down, here's Mostert again. And he'll fight forward to about the 27-yard line. Give him three yards on the run there. That still leaves him with a difficult third and eight coming up. Some of these play calls, I think they're a little conservative, but you know me, because it's easy to set up in this booth, right, and make all the calls and, and think I'm going to be correct. But I would like to see them open things up. And this is uh, right along the sideline. What a job of keeping the toes in. It was just verticals. That's all it was. A big play that time through the air. 37 yards. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here. Second down. Good job there keeping him to a short gain. Of course, he's coming off a really terrific performance. Reigning NFC Defensive Player of the Week. And I know people get caught up in what you did. Defensive player of the week, you must have made a bunch of spectacular plays. Like you mixed in a few of those, but most of the plays are just like we saw there. Keep them short.